Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think this will be the start of a new vlog. I'm in the bathroom and there's an echo, so I'm going to try to speak as little as possible. So guys, it is a Friday morning and um, I just decided to start this vlog, which will be road to giving birth. Because, as I mentioned in the previous update, I think I did mention this when we came back from our doctor the last time that I'm going to get induced because baby is measuring a head and um, I'm going to have to give birth obviously way earlier than my due date. So this is Friday. I am due to being induced on Tuesday and I just thought I should start a like road to a giving birth kind of vlog. This vlog should ideally run through um, giving birth and yeah, the day, like the build up to me giving birth basically. And yeah, um, I don't wanna talk too much. I still look a mess. I just brushed my teeth. I haven't taken a shower. And um, yeah, I don't wanna look too crazy because there's a thing you will see pregnant women like looking crazy and they're not they're not sick, they're not crazy, they're just pregnant. So I don't wanna push that narrative. I already look <laughs> anyway guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new vlog. Let us start the road to getting baby munchy. <laughs> we are you we are so big guys. We are so big. I definitely do believe that this baby is big. If this is me and I am not even close to my due date. Anyway guys, welcome back to my channel. Let us just, um, yeah, start the journey to getting baby my chili out. <laughs> it's not easy to find a, a bag. We'll find another one if we can find it. If I we mean, can't, I, I, I like it. It's nice, but I just don't like it for girl. So take it up for the mommy after she gives birth at hospital when she goes home. And why do you run to the next thing? Where it's all shower that he puts. I show and tell. We'll ask her after. Morning, guys. Welcome back to another day. Not my husband waking me up 45 minutes before my alarm clock. 45 minutes. Anyway, guys, it is, it is the big day today. I just, guys, I just woke up. I just woke up about five minutes ago. Um, my husband and I are no longer sleeping in the same room for weeks now because I couldn't take sleeping or sharing my bed anymore. And my pregnancy pillow was now taking up all the space. Well, I've been sleeping with my pregnancy pillow since very early. But um, I got to a point where I needed support in the front and the back and it, it was always just a fight between me and him so he moved out so he came to wake me up and he literally woke me up 45 minutes before my alarm clock that's him screaming guys that's him screaming and um okay let me just wrap this up quickly so we need to be in the hospital at seven for admission it's 5 30 right now it's 5.30 and my alarm clock was 6.15. <laughs> Cause guys, I thought I could do everything very quickly and we could leave, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I know. I don't know if you guys can hear him, he's screaming down there. He's so excited. Um, I'm going to hospital with him. My little sister is gonna follow with my mom after school. Yeah. Um, as in like my mom's after school because my little sister's done writing and everything so we just she's just gonna wait for my mom my mom's gonna come pick her up here 
and then they're gonna come and join us. It's just gonna be me and my husband until 12. And hopefully they will find me um, still induced. <laughs> Otherwise they're gonna miss out on seeing me induced. Well, I don't know how that works. I'm praying that I won't be in labor for too long. I'm praying, very nervous but trust in God and yeah let's get this day started this is the day that the Lord has made it's a beautiful sunny day it's been raining the past few days today the sun is coming out and I'm just like is this because there's a princess coming possibly today <laughs> alrighty guys let's get this day started That's a cool bag, guys. Today's the day work. We're, we're going on a trip. We're going to collect. It's a collection day. Come, mother. Collection day. How are you feeling? I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah, baby's back, mother's back. I have this. Muffins, handbag, blankets, gowns, you name it. Uh, uh, how can you take me looking so messy? It's collection day, it's a beautiful cloudy day. I said sunny earlier. Mm -mm. It seemed like the sun was out. Mm -mm. You lied to the people. Let's go. Where's my key? Yes, Where's yours? I have a door. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I give you a piece. I can't pull two bags. <laughs> Yo. <Aww. laughs> I can't. <sighs> Ready or not, today we sacrifice. <laughs> While in good discussion in Jet Hard, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. By city, by city, my phone, no look here. Over the owner, over the car owner. Hey guys, we are here at the hospital, just doing the final paperwork for admission. Bunga has his laptop bag, actually. He's going to be working while we're Stop stressing. I'm not stressed about it. Okay. We're going to keep him back. I'm stressed about not seeing the school bag. It's kind of... Hey guys, I don't know, I feel like this angle makes me look fat, so I'm trying to find like, I'm trying to slay while I'm at it, <laughs> just kidding guys, hey my cheese, um, we are at the hospital, we've been here for about probably just under an hour, probably about yeah, 40 minutes or so. And they have put me in this machine to just monitor baby and just see how baby's doing. It's tied to my stomach. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. And they're just gonna monitor baby and can check on how um, baby's doing in about 45 minutes. It's been about 30 minutes now. And um, then the induction process will start, which is when I guess things are gonna start getting lit <laughs> and i'm just praying that um the induction actually goes well and i am able to handle everything and we can actually go into labor and 
I've made peace with going natural as much as I wanted a c-section so bad I've made peace with going natural so I've trained my mind my spirit my soul <laughs> everything for natural and I'm hoping that um, things are not gonna change at the last minute but if they do uh, either way I'm not I'm not gonna be mad you know it's just that I had prepared myself for natural okay my duke is not giving anymore <laughs> I'm here with my husband. He's not in the room yet because they're still doing all these um, things. He's in the waiting room and he's working, Shem, because it is a work day. And I am keeping in touch with everyone at home. And um, yeah, I think every, everything should be, should be going well. Yeah, let's see how far. Sister Pichu, what? Okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> um, I'm with um, Sister Petra. She's been so helpful. My goodness. Actually, we were received by Sister Komoto, who was so kind. And um, I, saw, I saw someone. I saw one of um, the ladies from Dr. Chikanda's office when we came in. I was so happy, oh, I was so happy. They've been amazing as well. Um, Sis Murado and Sisin, I forgot, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for them to come and do blood work now. I just did my sugar now. Then Lancet is coming through to do, take my bloods, and then they're gonna get Habi to come in. Here's his chair already prepped and yeah this is my room guys i'm not gonna give you guys a room tour of a hospital room should i <laughs> i don't know it just feels strange but yeah it's just a room then on the other side of the curtain um it's this baby has been kicking today hey she's fighting she is fighting and then on the other side of the curtain, the curtain is um, slightly closed, but when you open, on the other side of the wall is the bathroom. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're here and I'll keep you guys updated. I should have brought my camera because I'm vlogging with my phone and I'm worried about memory. But I'll ask my little sister to bring my camera later. Anyway, let us wait for baby Munchie. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Can you take a seat? I put the chair specially for you. Mm. Oh, this is cute. Yes, I was about to ask if I like a pan. So you're going to have to vlog the process from me having all this energy put the one you to receive like it's a gradual process mm. so but for now i'm still like i can get up and dance mm. which i will once i can get up i need to stay down for now mm -hmm. so i'll just hopefully in an hour home until what time five past ten okay but for now, they just brought me food because I just had a muffin on my way here and these are wraps. I did say no chicken, yeah. So these are egg and lettuce wraps. Doctor was here as well, yeah. which was yay because it's so nice to see a familiar face. Yeah. He just came to reassure me and just start the process as well. I met him there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I told him good luck. Oh, good luck to you too. <laughs> good luck to him. <laughs> I mean, he's he's the one. It's, yeah. it's his moment, you know. Yeah. No, absolutely. We pray for we pray for them. We, we pray for him to yeah. to have a safe delivery. <laughs> because Mudimo Mudimo of Mudimo is working through them. Definitely. Um, it's their hands that he's holding throughout the process. Mm. So we pray for him and we wish him luck. Oh, I just want to drink water. 
Because my husband is going out to go get some food for himself. So I'm going to be left alone like a loser. I'm hearing a baby cry next door. Children. Mm. Okay. I'm intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna chill. Mommy yeah. back. Baby back. Daddy back. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, good. I'm out. I'll be outside. I'm too otherwise told. So, we are still good. <laughs> Bunka was telling me that her papa got a feeling scared, but so far, guess I'm telling your papa. Guess I'm telling your papa. So um, they've connected me to the machine once again. It is monitoring baby's heartbeat, as you guys can hear. There's a very fast heartbeat, and yeah, so far so good. <laughs> Hey guys, I switched off the light because I think it was making the room too hot. So it's been three hours since I got the first dose of the induction whatnot. And I just have what feels like light. I know what's happening out there. I just have what feels like light period cramps. Very light. I'm still fine. I'm able to do everything I could do and um, I don't know if I should be worried that there's not much progression I don't know what I expected but I thought in three hours I'll be like but nothing yet nothing yet a part of me is grateful because I'm like I don't know if I'm even ready for these pains that I want <laughs> Anyway, I feel very pregnant today. Um, yeah, no, baby is like down, down there. I also look it. Hey, Bo. For the first time, I think, well, not really first, first, but like my neck is quite dark today. It's usually, it's never really been dark. It's, yeah, it's quite dark, I think. You see? Oh, it, it, it's starting to get dark. And my nose is big. Okay, that's been big. And my face feels much fuller. I don't know what you guys think. Do you think I look different? I think I look different. Anyway, um, yeah, I was just here to catch you guys up on that. I'll see you guys if there's any progression uh, in the next hour or two. Righty. So my lunch is here. I don't get to choose my lunch, so I'm having whatever they're having. Obviously, with an exception to my allergies or whatever that I don't eat, which at the moment is chicken and then pork. I've just always not eaten it. So they gave me beef stew, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's beef stew, if not lamb, rice, and peas, and coleslaw and a fruit salad and water ah, i'm loving this water oh and a juice yeah so lunch is served let's eat i'm just gonna force it down because i had breakfast not so long ago i feel like it's not so long ago because yeah, you would have already been yeah, on you Who's, who's there? Is it still? Is it still the sister that welcomed us in? Okay. All right, my love. All good. No, he's coming. Mate is coming. Okay. Shop. Yeah. Hey guys, so it is currently, I think like around quarter to two, one thirty, quarter to two or so, and 
the pains are starting to kick in now. Um, it's starting to feel like severe period pains. And the baby's very active in there as well. Uh, yeah, she's been moving around a lot, a lot, a lot. So, this is where we're at. Bonka went home to get some work done. And he'll come back. But my mom is coming soon. Bonka's going to come with my little sister because she's also at home at my house. And yeah. I just wanted to give this update and let's see where this goes in another hour or so. I'm still okay though. If I'm asked to do the voice I can definitely still do it. <laughs> but yeah, the pains are definitely kicking in. Definitely, definitely kicking in. There's a baby crying in the other ward. <sighs> I'm very lonely now since Bunker left um, yeah but yeah let's let's take all of this in I forgot to show, I forgot to show you guys my dinner <laughs> um, I'm already done eating it was pap and vors with carrots I don't like boiled carrots but I actually enjoyed this I did enjoy this Just wanna watch them stars fall But you don't wanna try to make up dreams Just to be seen I wanna lay here beside I don't tie this thing so now it's busy falling off and making it look weird I don't tie the bag, I don't tie the, well I don't tie the top part, I don't tie the bottom part Just holding it like this What the one is as it seems like this. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to walk around. Hopefully it does something. It's 6 p.m. And um, the doctor came and read the that thing that I showed you that the machine prints out. I know what it's called. And he says it shows that there's some contractions that are taking place. So maybe i actually am strong and i'm not feeling them that much but they're actually happening so we'll see as the night progresses at 6 p.m in an hour the fam will be here and yeah basically let me carry on with my walk <laughs> So it is um, just after nine and they brought some tea. It's tea time. <laughs> so I'm not a tea fan, but I'm having some Rebos tea and just a slice of bread with peanut butter. Um, because we've already had dinner, so they just serve like some tea throughout the night. And I guess if you feel a little hungry, but yeah, I'm not hungry, but I'm going to eat nonetheless because, um, I want to have as much energy as I possibly can, um, when the pains start kicking in, you know? Yeah. So my mom, dad, little sister and husband were here. Unfortunately, my older sister couldn't be here. She should be here tomorrow morning. She's working night shift. So um, they just left. Bunka brought me these beauties. They're so pretty. I'm just going to ask for a vase for them. And yeah, everything's still going well. Pain still on a scale of two to three maybe now. 
and yeah basically <laughs> alrighty guys good morning guys welcome back to another day it is the next morning currently 7 35 in the morning and um, I woke up at around 4 4 30 or so when they had come to put that monitoring uh, machine and I've been up since I just finished guys being here will drive you crazy I've been packing and unpacking these suitcases ever since I got here so I've just finished packing my suitcases and again I don't know why and I am um, I took a bath earlier and then afterwards that's when I started packing the suitcases and now I'm waiting for breakfast it should be here any minute now and I just thought I should say hi for today contractions dololo well they come and they go very little though um, like at a scale of two to three now remember I said it was like one to two I think now we're at two to three not even a four um, but yeah, they're starting to kick in, but I'm panicking because it's been almost 24 hours since the induction started and hardly much has happened, so yeah, we'll hear what the doctor says when he gets here. But anyway, I was just here to say hello for today. Welcome to a new day. Let's see what this day has for us. And if baby will be serious about coming today. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome to a new day. Let's let's get it. <laughs> My breakfast just arrived. I'm having some oats. And these are just fruits and a muffin. And some rice. Some water and some juice. This is me trying to look cute in this net because what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Ooh, guys, one. This is me, all stripped up, all dripped up because. I like it. I got to run and then. I got so dangerous. So dangerous. I'm dangerous. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to Going for a C-section, <laughs> because we did not, um, basically we did not, the induce, the inducing did not, what's the right medical terms? We did not dilate enough, I think that's what it is, and um, it's been over 24 hours since we induced and nothing has happened remember i told you guys that the the pains were hardly even there so the doctor came and is like you know we're gonna have to do a c-section and i'm actually okay with it you know i'm actually okay with it it's just um i had trained my mind initially i did want a c-section for you know not going through the pain <laughs> But when I heard the reasons for not opting for it as a first option, I understood. And um, now that the, the things did not go the way we wanted them to. Okay, this is my other sister. Um, then we have to opt for this and I'm okay with it, even though it was very unexpected. But I sort of started suspecting at around when, like when I woke up this morning and I was still not in the pains. So it's okay. And my mom is very worried. She's been calling saying, no, don't worry, be at peace with it. 
um, it happens, whatever, whatever, and I'm just like, I'm okay, I'm not even worried, mama, I'm fine, you know, so I just wanted to get here and see that I'm actually fine, you know, but nonetheless, um, it is well, we will trust in God for everything, and um, yeah, they've prepped me already, um, I showed you guys that the drip is on as the drip is on and the cafeta is on. Hate it. Hate it. And yeah, we're now standing by. Problem is that I had started eating. I had started eating, but I had just had a bit of oats when the doctor arrived. And they made me stop eating and drinking immediately. So I'm so thirsty because I had not drank water. But let's see. Let's see. I'll keep you guys in the loop. Okay. <laughs> Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay here beside you Oh quiet Fire breath and open sky Hi guys, welcome it's not to another day um, I don't know where is Eno with the vlog, but I'm just gonna vlog um, on her behalf because uh, girl can uh, guys, I've been already. Girl can vlog at the moment. Um, yeah. Um, um, Mama is here. I know. Where are you coming back? Yeah, hey. of course. Hey. What are you coming back to do? The 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 passport. I need to talk phone and for all the work and for. Man, I am a what is up? No.
Cheese, welcome back to another day. It is the next morning, and I am up. It's around seven. I'm up because our doctor was here earlier um, to check on baby and just say hi to us. And then we there's baby over there in a little tin container thing. What do you call these things? But here she is. Um, she's already bathed. She went to bath at five. Imagine. And um, I'm gonna go bath after breakfast. I was given strict and strict instructions to have breakfast before I go and bath because I haven't eaten anything in 24, in over 24 hours. So I could be weak when I get up. So I need to have something to eat first. Anyway, welcome back to another day. Morning, guys. So if you recall, they had to stop me eating yesterday when I was trying to have my breakfast because I had to be rushed. Well, not rushed, but I had to be taken to theater. And you know you can't eat when you're going to theater. So I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. Um, so when they asked what I want for breakfast, I was like, I want oats and bread and jam I don't know how to hold this bread and jam the way I'm so hungry I did not want eggs the works I did not want all of that this is all I wanted oh this is what I had last night I think I showed you guys this is what I had last night and okay I didn't have the yogurt but there's yogurt over there on the other side of the glass there it is I don't know what my socks are doing on the table and this is from his, from last night. This is all I could have: yogurt, juice, and yo and mahiu. That's all I could have last night. So this is me having a proper meal. Proper. You guys, let me eat. I'll catch up with you guys later. Currently catching up on Mobango as well. And yeah, see you guys later. Hey guys, I'm here with Mama Hulu. Mama Hulu brought us some goodies. My room is so alive. It is so alive. It's showing. It's show. Let's go. <laughs> Visiting hours are over. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hey, my kids. Hello to Mam Kolo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we're getting some snacks. We're getting snacks. <laughs> Mama Kolo is getting me. I'm always getting me snacks and I don't know what to have because this is like the stuff that we've been given but of course this is always there <laughs> today's lunch pop and rolls greens I don't like greens and a uh, fruit or veg salad because my fingers are so swollen also this is carrots and pineapple. I don't know what kind of salad this is. And custard and jelly, juice water. And hey guys, how you guys doing? It is still the same day. I did say hi this morning. Hey, if I didn't hi for today, it is the next day. And um, it is late afternoons, around five-ish and i am just having an apple i walked my sister out earlier on and in about two hours it's the next visiting hours so i told um the family not to all come at the same time because they can't all come into my ward at the same time you know um i don't know if this applies to all wards but with maternity only one person at a time and um the hours are very short the visiting hours are very short so when they all come at the same time they end up spending like 10 minutes 10 minutes with me you know and chilling in the waiting area with them sucks because 
there's other people we don't get to clever you know family gossip <sighs> anyway guys um, i was just here to say hi for today in case i didn't and um show me guys show you guys this pretty pretty little balloon it's from mama holo Mahalo Tolo. Mahalo Goras. Abanino. She knows how much I love balloons. And she got me this. Oh, I can't wait to hang it in her room. Dream bag, a little one. It is so cute. And one thing about dinner time with the usual. Why don't you just consist of hiding each one? Number two. So that's good. Yes. That's Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Hey, what does it say? It's a girl. What does the other one say? Hello world. Oh. Daddy brought you goodies. Hey. Mm. On my tongue. <sighs> Day four supper. Oh, lunch, <laughs> lunch, creamed spinach, slice of butternut. I think this is beef and rice, custard and jelly. Cause I, I enjoyed it yesterday. That's my baby's food. <laughs> I should ask them what hospital milk they're using because, in case I'm not gonna have milk, but I'm hoping that I will. Then some water, of course. So we've just been moved to still on the same side, um, just different rooms because um, there's very few of us there by maternity and they've requested to do a deep cleaning while there's such few people. Um, so they've moved us to the side. Um, I'm not gonna do a room tour guys, it's pretty much the same idea. This one is a little bit bigger um our bags over there flowers balloons that side oh my other balloons my smaller balloons are the helium is dying out so they're all down here <laughs> they're all down here and then there's baby munchies anyway guys um let me settle in and get ready to have my dinner and just start my evening Whew, i've been talking for a while but wow guys i'm no longer getting breathless when i speak i'm not i miss that <laughs> no i don't okay guys this is a manual breast pump because um i don't want to commit to a breast pump just yet i want to see if i'm gonna have breast milk and um, I was also, because now it's only colostrum coming out, you don't really believe that there's anything coming out, you know, as much as the nurses and the doctors will assure you that, no, there is something coming out. As long as you see baby sucking like this, there's definitely something she's sucking on. But I wanted to see that something. So I asked them to buy me this um, thing here, this chem, this breast pump at this chem, and I just started pumping. To just see and then i could see the colostrum coming out colostrum coming out and i was like oh okay this is interesting so yeah it looks like i might just breastfeed which 
you know, I'm okay and I'm I'm happy about. Remember I told you guys that I'm not married to anything, you know. So if I do breast pump, yay. If I don't, it's okay. Um, yeah, guys, let me settle in and get the evening started. And for the last time. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day that should be fun welcome back to another day guys today is our last day yeah here's my angel of the bear we're just waiting for her doctor i told you guys i think i told you guys last night that my doctor has already discharged me well rather he has cleared me for discharge for today she had to run one more test which was a jaundice test if i'm not mistaken and um we're just waiting for her pediatrician to come and clear her and we are going home guys i'm all packed i'm all packed and ready like guys if they say i'm not leaving that's the dress i want to wear because i'm not trying to walk out wearing a gown and that's her little suitcase that's my big suitcase and that's the dress i'm wearing that's my handbag that's a hospital bag that we got at the hospital. Um, my little blankie and a snuggle and her toiletries there. And that's her. <laughs> and my breakfast just arrived. What did I order? I always get shocked when I see my food because I'm like, when did I order this? So I'm having muesli with some fruits. And they made her probably her last bottle here of milk and of course some juice what flavor mango juice and then i'm just gonna take my painkillers with water and we are heading home guys let me text my family and tell them i've already texted daddy i think he's still sleeping i don't think he expected us to be discharged this early well we're not really discharged yet but i know we're gonna be discharged because imagine if they say I'm the only one that's discharged. Baby has to stay. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. Um, but shall we pray for the best, of course? So I've already texted a daddy and he hasn't opened the message because I think he's expecting around like 12 or so. And it's just after seven. Just after yeah, just after seven, just before eight. And I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I know I'm jumping the gun a little because we haven't seen the pediatrician, but I am ready. I am ready. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. See you later. We've been discharged. We have been discharged. And nobody's here for us. I think it's about, okay, officially it's about like 15 minutes. But I told them that it's pretty much a done deal. And nobody's here and I hate waiting. Like, these smaller balloons have run out of helium, so they're all just down here now. But then these big ones are still floating. So I'm gonna leave these ones behind. Then I'm gonna cut these ones and put them on the stand together with this one and these ones can stay I think this looks better see sweet and short and just the floating ones and bye bye to those ones what do you do about them? I can put them next I don't know I'm I think I feel a little bit of a problem. This one is where the danger is. Yeah, I'm going to And yeah, let's go. Right, then you're going home. Oh, man. 
How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, how do you feel being being a mother? Ooh, I feel I feel good. I feel very blessed and happy and in love with the baby. With the baby, yes. Okay. So, if you had a choice to to have twenty million rand. And have the kid, which one would you choose? Ah, definitely having the baby. <laughs> she doesn't amount to any, any, any money in the world. Okay. Mm. Are you holding a stuffy bear? Yes, this one she was given by her big sister, Chomzi. And I'm wearing, I don't know what this is called. I don't, I also don't know. Just say like Christmas celebra lights. Celebratory hairband. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, so you're happy? Yes. Okay. Little girl from Chicago. You, 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 hey guys welcome back to another day of this vlog so this is the last day of this vlog i just thought i should come and officially close off the vlog and just sum up everything that's been happening the past couple of days right i made some talking points on my phone so that i don't go on and on because guys my heart is so full right now my heart is so so full and i feel like i can talk for a good three days non-stop you know <laughs> so yeah guys i think i lost saw you guys when we were discharged and when we had just arrived here at home so i'm at my parents house and this is where we're gonna be for the next month or so and um everyone is here it's it's such a full house um so it's my family as you guys know them and then my other sister and her husband are here my little brother's here my other granny's here it is such a full wholesome time and everybody is just so excited and so happy and i'm just in awe of what the lord has done my heart is my heart can't take this my heart is going to explode you guys i am yeah, words fail me. Words fail me, guys. Murimo thing, and I have seen God in my life, and I continue to see God in my life. And okay, let's get to the points. Let's get to the points. So I was admitted day one. You guys saw that I was admitted, and I was induced, but my labor pains did not advance which meant that if my labor pains were not, had not advanced in 24 hours, then I'm sent to theater. So 24 hours later, my doctor then came and he was like, we're gonna have to go to theater. And I actually wasn't worried or bothered. I was actually at so much peace. The entire time I was, actually this pregnancy was so peaceful, you know, all the way to my hospital stay, all the way to my birth, everything was so peaceful. So when he said, we're going to theater, um, I didn't even I didn't even mind I was at peace I was looking forward to it you know um, of course I had prepared myself mentally for natural birth but initially I don't know if I'd mentioned this somewhere in these vlogs initially um, I mean my birth plan in my head was a c-section but my doctor then refused and said um, he doesn't just do a c-section for no reason it has to be you know I need to either um, be high-risk pregnancy there needs to be a reason for him to do a c-section so he was advising me to lean more into natural birth so when I was obviously filling in my birth plan forms and everything I then um, went for natural and then <laughs> I was saying to one of my friends that be careful what you wish for because you just might get it did I not end up getting a c-section although I had prepared myself in every way for natural birth I remember even the prenatal classes 
I was attending for natural birth and I remember playing with my pregnancy ball and um, I was telling my little sister and my husband that this is how I'm going to be opening my legs when I get to the labor ward. I'm just going to be like, and this baby's just going to pop out. <laughs> Ooh, lo and behold, was I not sent to theater um, the next day? I'm trying to time myself. Was an, ooh, guys, also this night dress looks so funny now that um, there's no big tummy to support it. Yo, guys, I've been trying to put it in a perfect position before I started this video. I've been putting it like this. I've been like, but you know what? I got, I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Whatever, guys. <laughs> anyway, we then went to theater. And um, yeah, the theater experience was also something else. So when we were in theater, when I was being wheeled into theater, I was supposed to go to theater at 12. I ended up going at 10. Um, and the only thing that almost took away my peace was the fact that my mom wasn't there yet because she was still at work. And my husband had to rush and go get her and bring her to hospital two hours earlier. But they managed to um, be there on time and she still found me in the waiting room in the theater. So my peace was restored. <laughs> and we then went into theater and everything went so well. Um, my mom and I were actually chilling. You know how it is, um, well... I don't know if you know, but if you know, in the theater, I mean, when you're having a C-section, they just have a curtain here for you to not see what they do on the other side. And you're numb from like your stomach going down all the way to your legs, um, all the way to your feet, actually to your toes, you know. Um, and my mom was standing right beside me. She was right here. And my, my mom and I were just talking throughout and, you know, laughing. And that's the beauty about a C-section. You get to be fully present in it um, because obviously you're not pushing. You're not, you know, having labor pain. Sorry about that. I was just checking on baby. So um, I was just explaining that my mom and I were literally just talking throughout um, the operation. She was standing right next to me. We were talking. We were laughing until... We heard um, the doctor singing. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> so the doctor started singing and seconds later we... <laughs> yeah, guys. Seconds later we heard the cry and baby was here. I have a potato on my throat, guys. <laughs> I have a potato on my throat. And um, it was the most magical moment ever. It was the most... I don't think I've experienced... Ooh, I can't even speak anymore. I don't think I've experienced anything more godly than that. And the baby started crying. And, uh, you know, I was just crying. And my mom joined in the singing. And they were singing and next thing um i think they gave the baby to my mom first before they brought her to me to see after they did the, the suctioning and everything and at that moment i was just like lord lord you are faithful yeah guys i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe that there was actually something in my stomach. <laughs> I knew there was, but I mean, when it was actually happening and when the baby had finally arrived, I was just in awe of what the Lord had done and I will forever, forever praise Him. I will forever trust in Him. I will forever thank Him. And yeah, baby then arrived and it was all magical and they obviously took baby away to go get them cleaned up. And they got me closed up and they wheeled me back into the theater. It was all magical and they obviously took baby away to go get them cleaned up. And they got me closed up and they wheeled me back into the theater. And obviously we let everybody know, you know, hubby being the first and everything and everything. And yeah, baby was here and from there it was just me being in the hospital for recovery for the next four days. Day. No, no, I, initi I initially was supposed to stay for three days with the natural birth, but I ended up staying four days because C-section. And it was just, from there it was just recovery, it was just baby having um, those tests done, run on her. They did, um, I know there was the hearing test that was done, the jaundice test, the, yeah, I, I can't remember, but yeah, they, they ran tests on the baby and, um, 
before they discharged us um, they came to teach me how to breastfeed another thing that I couldn't believe was the fact that I could actually breastfeed like I actually and breastfeeding I don't know guys I don't know if I had that much faith in my body but I was so shocked I was like Lord is this me is this my life I remember writing a status on whatsapp saying that um, I can't believe this is me because I don't know I thought you know having a baby was already it but finding that I'm breastfeeding and everything was just it was just a lot for me to take in and I was just like Hey, bonko siam. <laughs> um, yeah, and then that is basically, you know, the, the next few days until we got discharged. And then we came home. We've been home for um, the past couple of days. We're going to be home for the next month or so, like I said. And we are going to leave the house to just go to the six-week appointment. Yeah, I think we're going to leave around six weeks. We're going to leave to go do the six-week appointment. Baby's going to go to um, the pediatrician, the clinic, and I'm going to go to my gynae. And then um, that's when we're going to go back home, I think. Yeah, we should be going home around then. And in the meantime, we're just stuck in this room. My mom does not allow us to even go to the lounge. Um... I literally leave this room to go to the bathroom and that is it to go bath to go use the loo that is it I eat in here I you know that is my life I'm just stuck in here <laughs> and yeah guys I'm a mom I am a mom Bonka is a dad and we are just so grateful we are in awe of what the Lord has done we are oh, we are grateful we are grateful um, and yeah, before I close off the vlog, guys, I just want to just give a huge shout out to my doctor, guys. Ooh, uh, Amina, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if anybody had a better doctor, but I don't think so. Um, yo, guys, um, shout out to Dr. Chikanda and his team. Um, his team at the practice and his theater team as well. Shout out to them. Man, they made this experience so magical. I remember when we met Dr. Chikanda. Um, it's my sisters and I that discovered him on social media and we were like we're gonna drop the doctor that because we had a gynae that my mom always used from um, Kinelu when she was pregnant with Kinelu she then discovered him and he's been her gynae since and we obviously go with him for obvious reasons you know then we're like hey guys we're old enough to make our own decisions now so we found our own gynae which is Dr. Chikanda on social media and we decided we're gonna use him so my sisters and I are all about Dr. Chikanda so I had planned to go to him this year later on in the year um, for my pap smear and everything um, but obviously I ended up going earlier because I then fell pregnant. The day that we met him, um, which is like the day that two days, my first appointment two days after I missed my, no no, yeah two days after I missed my parents, um, I was with my husband and literally just on the day that we met him we knew that this was the doctor for us. He was Guys, it's so nice to speak the same language with someone. He was already speaking about God. He was already just encouraging us about the pregnancy and, you know, telling us to be excited and telling us to trust God and just put God and just put God um, above everything. And, you know, when we left there, my husband was like, yeah, babe. No, no, Rashapile Jackpot, Rashapile Jackpot, because how do we find someone so perfect to take such a delicate journey with us, to take such a important, you know, journey with us? And yeah, no, he's been amazing. His team has been amazing. I also want to send a huge shout out to the maternity ward staff, um, which is led by Sister Komoto and Sister Fortunate. They have been they were so amazing as well they literally took care of me and made the entire experience so perfect guys mina my pregnancy was perfection all the way till the end um i was taken care of in every way possible all the way till the end so shout out to dr fortunate i mean to sister fortunate and sister um Humozo. thank you for taking care of me thank you to your team as well in the maternity ward um shout out to the theater staff i forgot the the manager in the theater she actually came to check up on me the next day after i gave birth um and she introduced herself but i think i was still probably a bit drowsy or sleepy i i forgot her name but i'll probably get it by the time i put this video up she was also so amazing shout out to her as well and yeah shout out to you guys for um 
the love and the support that you guys have been showing shout out to those of you that knew about the pregnancy and respected that we don't want to make it public until we decided to shout out to those of you that saw that i was pregnant and decided to keep quiet about it because there's nothing more invasive than um, people seeing that you're pregnant or suspecting that you're pregnant and forcing you to basically talk about it um, even when you're not ready so much to a point that they even decide to be the ones to announce it you know um, so shout out to everybody that was respectful throughout this journey I love and appreciate you guys so much and um, for now I'm just gonna be relaxing and taking in this new role of being mom um, taking in this new blessing and um, yeah man just recovering and taking time to heal I'll catch up with you guys soon I don't know when I'm not promising when but thank you guys so much for the love the support I hope you guys have been enjoying Febmas I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to tell your friends to tell their friends about the channel I love you guys so much bye